let's get into it this morning. Let's get into it. So I'm be making some cinnamon, a cinnamon bun cake, but at first I have to do my dough. So we're going to take one tablespoon and a half of the yeast, pour it in the warm milk. And your milk, I've already used this uh, temperature probe, has to be at least 110. So I've already done that. Don't let it be too hot, 110 degrees. And we're just gonna let, I'm gonna stir a little bit, we're gonna let this sit until it ferments. That's the yeast I use. I'm gonna set that to the side, then we're gonna mix all these other ingredients. And you can knead this with your hand, but I'm gonna do it with my dough hook. So we put that in the mixer. One half cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt. We're gonna use two eggs. We're going to use one third cup of butter. One third cup of butter, put this over here. And just mix this in with my, um, just mix this in, sort of incorporate, incorporate in this mix for a little bit. So like, so like this right here. Okay, let me make sure this right here is on. Hook over here. My dough hook. I'm using my lift stand today. All right, so we got that mixed in. Now we're going to add four and one half cups of sugar. Sugar. Mm, okay, Jewel. I'm gonna get it together. We're gonna add four and one half cups of flour. If we put sugar, we ain't gonna make no kind of bread. So it's going to be simple. We're gonna add this in. Stir this like so, like this a little bit. Just stir it in. Make sure it's on my mixer really good. Okay, and put the rest of it in. I hate dealing with dough with my hands. Normally, I would have to take the gloves off if I'm going to do it with my hand. You can't do dough with gloves. It's kind of hard. You have to do it with your hands. As long as your hands are very, very clean, okay? So, just going to get that started. I'm gonna get put my dough hook on. I grease my bowl a little bit and grease my dough hook. Hopefully that'll help from some of the sticking. But if not, I just use some, put some more flour in there. All right, gonna knead this just a little bit because we still have to add the um. What I want to say, <laughs> there are dry yeast. Still, we gotta add our dry yeast. Like what I want to say, what I want to say, y'all. It's too early in the morning. I'm retired. I just get up when I get up. Okay. Let me get a little whiskey in this neck while the dough is moving. Got my whisk right behind me. Okay. The salt is in all the ingredients are in there now. So I'm going to mix this in a little bit. Turn this up a little bit. Go ahead on. You're going to add. That should be okay. Yep. You're going to add the yeast mixture. Put this in here. Let me break down the side of my bowl. All right. Then we're going to put the yeast. This is the magic. The yeast is what makes the dough rise. This is the magic ingredient. So we're going to do so like so. Let me straight through. All right. I'll probably have to add some more flour. Mixer to go in and get this mixer to mix it on here. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna add just a little bit more flour. See, it's getting there. See how that looks? Yeah, if I was using this kitchen aid, kitchen aid is a little bit noisy. <laughs> so. 
That's why I use my um, cruising up mixer. All right, I'm about to invest me in a in a bigger mixer because I'm gonna be doing a lot of baking, so I need something big, big. My kitchen aid is a six and a half quart, but I need like a nine quart. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. Let me use this cup, add a little bit of flour to this. All right, let's put this back down. Move all this to the side out my way. Need this, need this, need that. Get to the side. We're going to get this show on the road. Okay, just a little. It's almost a look at that. It's almost there. I'm add just a little bit more flour. Then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna knead with my hands, well, with my gloves. All right. Let's move that to the side. Get this to the side and put this down. Go back and need a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna take it off the side. Get all that off. And that putting I put Crisco shortening in here on my pan. And this right here. Well my bowl rather, not my pan, my bowl. This and it, it really helps to keep from sticking so bad. Okay. That right there. I'm gonna do this right here. Cause the dough hook is easier to me than doing all that with your hand. Okay, okay. Okay. See, it almost came together. I'm just going to take it out because I just want to use this dough hook. Is like I said, it's a lot easier. We'll have some good old cinnamon bun cake. It's going to be a cinnamon bun cake. I normally make cinnamon roll, but this right here is going to be a cinnamon bun cake, and I will show you how that, that will look. Okay, okay. Now, I'm going to rake. Rake. I'm going to pour this out. I'm going to rake. I'm going to rake it like I'm raking a yard. So, we're going to pour this out on my other mat. I'm going to put a little flour down here, like so, like this right here. Okay, I'm gonna have flour all over me. I should have put my apron on, but it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna pull this, put this down here. Get all that down. Come on out. It's gonna be some good old cinnamon, cinnamon cake, cinnamon roll cake. Get all of this out. Get that out. So like that. Okay, okay. Trying to get every little drop out. I probably should have got my other spatula with this one, okay? All right. Okay. Set that to the side. Now we're going to do this right here. Let's get this all up like this and put it into a bowl. And I'm going to need all this flour. I just want to make sure I have enough. Okay, move that to the side. And what I'll do if I get this meat a little bit, I have my bowl, my grease bowl here I'm gonna use, put that in. And then I'll put it in my oven. I have a poof, P-O-O-F, a poof um, setting where I can put it in there. I'll turn my poof on and let it rise. Okay. Get in a good old bowl. So like so like that. Just like knead and bread. All right, now we're going to put it in this bowl. Put in this bowl, it's in the bowl, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a uh, piece of wrap, saran wrap around on top of it. 
get some red wrap, put on top. We're gonna put it in this oven. On my oven, I have a poof, a poof. A, you know what? It's actually P R O O F, a proof. I'm talking about a proof, a proof. So I have that turned on. And I'm going to put that in, and then we'll come back, and I'm going to show you how uh, it's going to double its size. Once it's double its size, we'll roll it out again, and I'll put my brown uh, cinnamon. I have my cinnamon brown sugar in it, and, we'll, and then we'll put that on there in the butter, and it's going to we'll roll up and be delicious. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you back in about 30 minutes. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So my dough has um, poofed up. I got it rolled out. And we're getting ready to make um, we're ready to make these cinnamon, this cinnamon uh, cake. It's actually going to be a giant cinnamon cake. So I'm gonna put all this, put this butter on it. Let me find one little thing. Actually, move my drawers around so I won't be in all these drawers. But I still got stuff mixed. So I'm gonna put some butter on here. So like, so like this right here. Just rub it on. Cause I don't need all that butter. I just need it. Like, I mean, now you can put a lot of butter on if you want it. But we're just gonna do this little bit. Put this much butter on it. And I have this cut out to about maybe a twelve by fifteen because I need to get at least six pieces out of it. So I'm gonna roll this, the butter. Get all that incorporated. Oh, I need to take, get this little bit off. Let's roll this. All right. Now we got the butter on there. Then we're going to put the brown sugar and cinnamon on here. Sprinkle all that over here so like this right here, so like that. Just sprinkle on here and then we're gonna roll it up. And I have this dough cut out to like uh, two inches. And if you want to, you can add nuts. You can add some nuts in here. But I'm just leaving this plain because my family, they likes it plain. Well, some of it, some, some half of my family do. <laughs> some of them like it with nuts in it. So, all right, I'm going to put all that in there. Now, I have my dish here. So what we're going to do, going to cut some strips. I need at least six strips. So, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, and we're going to take this first strip. We're going to. I'm working backwards. We're going to roll it up. So like this right here. You know what? I probably need to cut this down a little bit. Let me cut this down a little bit more because that's going to be too high for what I want to use it for. Let me just cut that down a little bit. I'm just putting this over to the side. Now, let's begin to finish rolling. Going to roll. roll it so like this so like that and we're going to put it in this dish but first I need to move all this out of the way I want you to see what I'm doing okay move that out of the way got that like so like this right here all right now we're going to take this so now some of this probably come off of this so it'll be okay. Mash this thing. Gonna 
throw this around. So like, so like this right here. You can always add some back in it into it. Cause remember, this is a giant um, cinnamon bun. So I want to be all right. Giant cinnamon bun. I'm gonna do like so, like this right here. Throw this around. We're going to sprinkle some on top so that'll be fine. Take this piece right here. Bring it over. Start working with it. All right, so like this right here. And as you roll it around, just keep bringing it around. Because once it cooks, it's going to be poofed all up and it's going to be absolutely pretty. Okay, now, let me move this out of the way. Move this over to the side a little bit. Put my dish up a little bit closer. Bring this over to some more. Really, I only needed one, two, I only actually only needed six, but I got more than six. <laughs> so, I'm just going to leave this just like this right here. I'm going to wrap this a little bit around here, like so, like this right here. All right. I'm going to do like this right here, and we're going to let this set um, probably for another 30 minutes, because this right here arrives some more. And I'm going to just do that one by itself. All right. Like so, like this right here. Okay, so this is our cinnamon, giant cinnamon bun. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell. And um, that way you'll know of all the uploads I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to take this one right here and this is going to be put in, I'll put this in a pan by itself. It's going to be a nice little chunk of um, cinnamon bun also. And then while that's arising, I'm going to make my icing. And I'll come back and show you how what my icing looks like. So, I'll probably be back in 30 minutes and show you when it rises and then we'll bake it. So, I'll see you till the next time. Hello, hello. So, let's get into this cinnamon bun, this giant cinnamon bun. It has a bake. And this right here is just, it's not burnt, it's just crystallization. If you was here in person, you can actually see how light it is. The camera, I think, makes it look a little dark. So, I made this um, delicious icing. So we're gonna put this on. Gonna get all this and just gonna cover it all up with all this good old deliciousness. I'm gonna put it all and after the cake, um, well it is a cake now. <laughs> after this giant cinnamon bun cake cools off, I will cut a slice and I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. Let me get my around just put a lot of it around there because it'll melt uh oh that I have a hot mess with this little tiny spoon so we can get all this right here out put some more on there just drizzle I could have made a little bit more but then sometimes more is too much. It's already got a lot of powder sugar. Um, you already got, it's already sugar, sugar, sugar. <laughs> already got like cinnamon, butter, brown sugar. 
Oh, look at that. Okay, and you can you you can also use uh, cream uh, cream cheese. I have a cream cheese frosting that I use sometimes, but I said for tonight we're just going to do. Um, I'm do this right here. Let me scream. So well, let me use this, get this spatula right here in my drawer. And we're going to use that and get some more of this off. Uh oh, look at that. Got some more right there. <laughs> That's enough. Scrape it all. Look at that. Scrape it all off. This, yeah, this is enough. This is enough sugar. Scrape it over like this right here. Yeah, I just took this out of the oven, so let me get my little thing and try to burn my hands. All right, so this is your giant sim bun. Giant sim bun. You know what? Let me just get a knife and cut a tad, a little piece of the second I know it's kind of hot. But let's see what happens. Let me get a knife. Let me get a little dish. Get a little bit. Let me get a little dish right here. Got a little dish. We're gonna cut just a little bit of piece. Just a little bit of piece. Cause it might be too hot. Oh yeah, it is kind of. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till it cools off. Anyway, you know, I'm still cutting. <laughs> I already, I already done cut it now. I already done cut it, right? Mm, look at that. All this right here. I don't even need to eat none of this at all. It's, it's just too much. Too much sugar. Way too much. Look at that. The sound of mine. Look at that. Mm. I don't need it. My husband don't need it, but I get the rest of him. That is your delicious giant cinnamon bun. Instead of it being little buns, just make it a whole big cake. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification button, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then.